Let's have a quick look at the top five magic modules which you have to look into in 2024. Let me tell you one thing that these modules are not new. I've shared all these modules already with you on my other channel in Hindi language because a lot of users don't know that language and they don't watch that. That is why this video is here. Let's have a quick look at the first module and that is a custom launcher. For example, if you're using a custom ROM which brings you Pixel Launcher pre-installed like most of the custom ROMs in Android 14, they brings you Pixel Launcher pre-installed so you want to change that you can try out evolution x launcher pod launcher port which is basically a different thing having all the customizations which you need in a custom launcher and the customizations which you need and uh, this custom launcher actually based on launcher 3 so everything for example if you have used cr droid custom room or the custom room which are having launcher 3 pre-installed then you might be aware of moving into the home settings you can notice all the features like icon pack customizations at a glance widget which you can enable or disable we have the option to choose the extended style for that search bar customizations you can use themed icons for that app drawer customizations are also present and at last but not the least we also have the option to hide the apps or even use the app locker the custom recent panel and a lot more things so this is the first magic module which is in our list so in case you want to try it out on a device link is there in the description Moving on to the second module, which is in our list, it is regarding the quick settings panel customization. This works with the latest Android 12, Android 13, Android 14. But if you're using Android 14, like a lot of users actually use Android 14 based custom room, then this is definitely going to work for you. I mean, 99% of the chances it should work for you. For example, I tested it in Pixel OS custom room. So if you're using Pixel OS, it will work. If you're using any other custom room, it should work for, the, for you too. It is taking some time as you can see after taking some time it's done simply reboot your device and then what this is this is how the quick settings panel is looking like you can see the quick settings panel because the default android 12 13 14 style quick settings panel is a little bit different but if you need android 11 style quick settings panel then this is here for you unfortunately you can't customize the rows and columns and styles but in case still in case you want to change your quick settings layout then this model could be a good choice for you including these things because this is also one of the modules which i think so you will love the link for this module is also available in the description moving on to the third module which is in our list and that is regarding the sound mode for example in case you don't have any sound mode pre-installed on a device you want to try out something then this could be a, here for you we are talking about dolby magic revision we have many options available for sound mods i made a video already on a lot of sound modes but some of them actually does not support the latest android 14 but in case because 2024 is here a lot of users use android 14 on their devices as a custom room so we need modules which actually support android 14 so this mod is one of them this dolby atmos is quite lightweight it's less than 1 MB. Yes, it is less than 1 MB, but it works like charm. It should work for almost every device. And by the way, because this module I have installed on Inmagis, it should work with kernel SU. And I'm not exactly sure about A patch, but I guess it will definitely work with A patch too. The thing is, this is super good because it works with the latest Android version. The UI is quite good. And because I just mentioned it's less than one MB. So yes, this is a very, very good choice. If you are looking forward to a sound mode, try out this Dolby Atmos, which should work with almost all the Android versions right now. I guess even Android 11, 12, 13, 14, all Android versions, it should work. Moving on to the other module, which is in our list, it is regarding fonts customizations. I have many fonts. I have shared a lot of fonts with you already. But in case you want to try out this kind of font, what this is, this is actually a little bit different here as compared to other fonts right now I have shared with you. What this is, after installing these fonts and of course, after rebooting my device, what you will notice, you will definitely see that there are some changes in some other custom apps, but not in the system. Let me just reboot my device once to show you. After rebooting, you will see the fonts are actually not changed here. But for example, if I open Magisk app, you will see some changes in this app like this one. You can see some small tweaks, small changes in these fonts because in case you don't want to customize the whole system fonts, then this model could be useful for you, including the Magisk app. If you move on to the other options, for example, any website, any web page in Chrome, any third party app, you will see the fonts might be changed there too. So this is the thing which is available in these fonts. The name is One UI Sans and these fonts links, of course, as a magic module is already available in the description. In case you want to try it out, you can. 
Moving on to the other module, which is last but not the least, we have the pixel props. What this is, I made a video on this one too already on my other channel, just recently shared with you. You can choose this module to install, uh, to spoof some things. Even you can get the more Google Google One storage. I made a video on my other channel regarding you can get approximately two terabytes of cloud storage through installing this module. For some, you can get some extra features in the Google Photos app or you might get unlimited Google Photo storage. So this is about the pixel props. Whichever the latest pixel props are available, I will let you know there in the description. You can find out that link. All the things and uh, if you want to know more about these props, uh, how these things are worked. For example, I tried Google Pixel 8 Pro. As you can see, it's there in the device info. You can notice these things are working fine. So the link for all of these modules are already available in the description. This is all. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. I will see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye and make sure to like this video.